so hello everyone today i'm going to show you how you can create this type of cool looking destruction in unreal engine 5 so i'm not using any kind of other software like houdini or nothing like blender or nothing and yeah it's uh and actually the problem is with uh the unreal engine destruction is unreal engine is a game like a game engine so the destruction of the destruction system that present in the unreal engine is made for game specific like uh they actually focus more on like real time that stuff so you actually couldn't able to get that much amount of good result by using geos destruction by unreal yes unreal engine destruction system as compared to houdini or any other destruction software so but you can get a pretty good result so the first thing that you need to do is you need to export your 3d models of your building so i'm using this model of my building so make sure that whenever you try to export or make any kind of building make sure it is as much clean geometry clean and make sure it is super clean there is no that much amount of meshes make it a little bit less complex so okay so if i show you so you can see that i just make a simple kind of uh, building in blender I tried with other buildings like uh, Unreal Engine City Packs, uh, not City Pack, like City Sample, the uh, buildings, like it was very high poly and to simulate that um, uh, that building is very difficult. If you need a, a really uh, high-end PC to simulate that type of buildings. So you have to just create this type of uh, buildings. So what I did, I just make one floor and then I use array modifier to make the other stuff, other part of the building so it's very simple and the geometry of it you can look it's very clean so you need this type of buildings okay to simulate very uh, uh, smoothly in unreal engine or as it will not gonna properly simulate it and you will see some kind of wearing uh, tear issues like some part of the building is coming outside uh, like that and something unwanted okay you really don't need that type of things so make sure that you make it very clean as much you can then you have to just export it to xp fbx file so i already exported and then you have to just import the thing on blender i will just close this thing so when you uh, import your file in blender you need to make sure so if i show you the file of the building then i i just forgot where i put the building mm, i think it was there probably yes you can see there is my static mesh main building so if i open this thing you can see that uh, the same building so what i did i just textured that building in unreal engine so i'm not gonna tell you how to texture that thing you can watch other tutorials so for now i'm just going to show you the destruction system so after exporting what you need to do uh make sure that you didn't enable nanite because nanite in this thing create some kind of problems uh, you can enable it afterwards but i will recommend you to turn this thing off i enable it now because it is uh, completed my destruction is completed after that i can easily enable this thing you can enable this thing i mean uh, so what you have to do you have to just go to your fracture and then you have to go to create this new okay click on this one save your path wherever you want to save it make sure that you select your building and then you have to press create geometry collection okay so it will show you something like um so if uh, if it is not showing something then what you need to do is you have to go you have to select this thing and then you have to go to color okay you have to write color in the detail panel and there is an option of show bone color you have to check this thing like that okay so you will see this type of stuff so i already uh, fractured this thing so many times so that's why it is showing different colors but in your case it will it will show like only one color so what you have to do then you have to just click on the cluster or you can use anything i will i will recommend you to use radial cluster uniform mix of this three so first what you do you have to just click on this radial do not change any kind of settings okay you can leave it like that or you can change it for, uh, you you can watch other tutorials also about details about this type of things i'm not going to show you detail i will just preview the settings the main setting that you need to remember i will show you that those things later on the tutorial so the first thing that you need to do is click on radial 
and then you can just select uh select your mesh and then you can fracture it so after fracturing you can uh click on cluster then you can fracture this thing also select everything okay make sure that you select everything so if you're trying to make destruction for games something like that then do not do fracture too many times because it will cause really um that pressure on your computer cause re uh, really hard so do not try to do too much because if you're making like for games then i will recommend you to do like one or two times maximum don't go more than two times okay it will be good for your games but for cinematic renders like for building destruction like movies you need to do it more more times okay so i will recommend you to do like four times or five times maximum five don't go beyond that okay if you if you have really hard computer like a really high-end computer that your pc could able to handle that much amount of parts then yeah you can go but for for the mid and low end pc you can just leave it to like four and five so after that you have to do like you have to click on cluster you fracture everything click on this fracture and then after fracturing everything you need to click on uniform and then click on fracture again okay so just make sure it's gonna take a little bit time depending on your computer like for me i have an rtx 3050 and it is it takes like it took me like eight minutes and not eight minutes like it took me like 15 to 20 minutes for first one second one took me like 30 minutes fourth one took me like uh one hour to one hour 20 minutes something like that i didn't remember that well but just be patient uh it's gonna take time so just be patient and then after finish when your everything is finished then you can see there are so many parts uh you can see like this like me you will get this type of different type of colors and you can just uh, create uh like you can select single portion of this okay like if i want to fracture this pink color this portion then i will select a uniform or cluster and then i can click on fracture it will be fracture it more like if i show you then it will be create some like though i am not going to show you i can i think i can fracture this thing let me try okay i think i can't because i already baked the animation so i think it will crash i don't know i really don't know oh it's done i think so just be careful about this thing because it will create a ton of pressure in your computer so if i show you my parts how many parts i fractured it is so many to just wait i will just uh, it is just compiling everything and then i will show you how many parts i fractured so just give me a second i don't know it, if it is lagged or crashed so you have to just be patient about this type of things because it's going to create a tremendous amount of pressure in your computer okay I think the destruction, the water, the fire, that's all stuff. Now the simulation stuff is very complicated and it will take a lot of resources. So you have to be just deal with these things and you can't do anything about this. Okay. Until and unless the technology gets improved, you will use some kind of AI in the destruction stuff. Then, then, it's will, be, then it will be better. But for now, you can't do anything. You have to just wait and render this thing uh, like for hours and hours. You have to wait like that so you can see that the fracture is done and you can see it makes more parts in that area like so many before it was just a single pink color now it is containing more colors more fractures okay so uh, you have to do this thing like that and then after doing this what you have to do is uh, you need to simulate this thing okay so what you need to do you have to just go to your content browser and you have to write fs something like that and you will see some kind of force or this type of force okay you will see a anchor field you will see a bomb field and you will see a master field so this these are the fields three fields so i will recommend you to just copy this thing to a new folder because you really don't need to change the content the unreal engine content folders because it will create problems so just go and copy these things or you can just go and click like that and copy here or wherever you want to copy like that so then what you have to do and if you want to turn this thing off color then you have to just select the building and then you have to write color and show bone color uncheck this thing and it will be done okay so after that you can see it's all fractured and if if i show you how many pieces i fractured 
so you can see it's a lot i think wow you can see there are so many pieces i fractured to make this simulation i don't know where to see the total amount of fracture i do in this simulation but you can see you can see that 30000 17000 there are so many fractures bro like i do it like four to five times fracture continuous in a row so it will just make it so much detailed and everything is detailed and precise like that so what you have to do next that um you have to use your force field okay so i i use my force field so if i show you like that okay so i use an anchor field on the top okay and there is a bomb field that's bomb and there is a master field this one and there is a this yellow box okay so what it does i will tell you very brief not briefly like short so this thing is a uh, it uh this one is just push any object like what happens in my simulation you can see that whenever that trike uh, whenever this ball came down it just hit this building and it is creating this type of destruction and when it goes down it will just stop and then i use this one to create this type of this destruction this area destruction okay so this field bomb field not bomb field like this master field this one i created this thing to create this destruction this area destruction and for the top one i use that red ball okay so for now i will just tell you the red ball blue ball or yellow okay because it will be easier for you so for the top destruction i use the red ball for the bottom destruction i use the blue ball so from the red ball i just uh make sure i collide this thing and i will show you the settings also what i use so this collides and the down one is to push the this things to push outside okay this one is to push outside and this one this one is for the directional you can use this thing only in one direction you can use it like a bomb also like this one but i'm not recommending uh, you can use this thing only for the direction like in this direction or any direction and this one is for the center force okay so it will impact everything from the center towards outside okay like this it will just push everything outside like this push everything and this yellow box is to hold everything okay so if you didn't use this yellow box your building will move okay so to make it still we are i'm using this yellow box so it's uh, and the name of that is like this one fs anchor field kendrick okay so i will show you the force field that i use in this destruction and now i will show you the setting okay so the first most important thing of the this thing is the red ball i use field active this settings i use ex activation type on tick spare this thing you can use also delay i'm not recommending you can use it two seconds three seconds something like that then there is a bomb mini scale so if you want to increase or decrease the size of the scale bomb scale like a red circle this thing the larger it is the larger area it will cover and it will impact the larger area so it's depend like that so minimum bomb scale like this and bomb max scale 40 make sure you make it same and do not try to change it on this scale parameter because it doesn't work you need to change this thing in there and then you can enable the projectile because if you enable the projectile it will be used pro projectile motion to down this thing like that it will just came down like that projectile means like you already study that thing in science class also i think that projectile create that force so it will just create i'm not gonna show you that thing again because if i try to simulate this thing then it will crash so because i already pre-baked this as, uh, simulation so that's why i'm not showing this so then you have to just click on the projectile velocity uh uh, you click on this thing and then there is a projectile velocity you need to make sure that how much velocity you need to uh, put to your red ball to hit to the object okay so i just use hundred thousand something like that so i need a really hard force because it's a quite a large building so you need a large force to act with this if you use less then it will it will not destroy it okay so make sure that you use higher amount of number in this one and the for the rest of it i didn't use anything you can use noise also you can copy the settings that i that i'm showing you 
and I didn't change anything. And for the blue ball, um, for the blue ball, I I just use a delay amount like 2.5 seconds because when if I make it zero, then it will be just blast. It will not create this type of first uh, effect. So I just use 2.5 seconds for the delay. So so that I could able to get this type of effect. For your case, it will be different. It totally depends on you how much delay you want it. So you can use anything. And then I didn't change anything, 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 anything. It will seem just like that. Leave it like that. Okay. Do not change anything. And then after that, uh, for this one, I use mm, I use nothing. You have to just place this thing. Okay. You need don't need to change anything. Okay. You have to just place this thing for the stability. Okay. So you can see my blue box is covering the whole building. If you can see properly, you can see it is covering the whole building just for stabilizing so that build, building doesn't move left or right anything when it was in simulation colliding with the then when the red ball is colliding with the building. So it's just for stabilizing the building. And then what you have to do, you have to click on your building. You can see this detail panel. You have to just go down. There is a initialize force option. What you need to do is you can, you have to, not you can, okay, you have to do. So you have to just click on this add, you will add something like this. And then what you have to do, you have to just go to this one. And then you have to select your, like, your forces, at three forces, what, how many forces, it depends on your scene, how many forces you use. So for me, it is like one, two, three, four, three forces. I can, you have to just add per every forces in one boxes, like everything in one. For red one, you use first. For blue one, you use second. And for this one, you use third like that. Okay. So I will just add this thing in my in my uh, third one. Chandrik one, this one. Okay. So it was not showing because I already baked. But you need to do this to work it pro properly like that. So, okay. That's it. After doing this stuff, your simulation is done. And if you want to know about baking like how to bake this animation then i will give you another tutorial you just uh, tell me that you need a tutorial about how to bake this animation i will make a different tutorial because if i try to cover everything in this one it will be longer so that's it thank you for watching